We didn't conclude last night, so here's the conclusion. And so we got ramen, and we went to Lawson's. We came back, and uh, we started playing Uno for some reason, and we got into a really intense, epic game of Uno. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's what we did last night. Yep. Anyway, now it's what is today? Monday? I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows what day it is? But it's the day that we're leaving. So we're gonna go to the airport soon-ish. In like an hour, mm. our host is gonna drive us to the station. And we're gonna take the train to the airport, and then that will be the conclusion of our journey. Yeah. How do you feel about it? I'm ready to go home. Yeah, <laughs> me too. I mean, I obviously had fun here, but yeah. I'm ready to go home too. So, well, here we are at the airport. Um, we were trying to check into our flight, which is at 7 o'clock p.m. It's like almost 2 o'clock right now, but... Can't even check in. It's yeah. not allowed. We tried to check in on a little kiosk. It was like, this flight doesn't exist. And I was like, excuse me? So I was trying to check in online. Um, there was a link in my email to check in, but it was all in Japanese, so I couldn't read anything. And then on the little sign, I don't know if you want to show this, it says uh, 16 o'clock. Which is four. 16 o'clock is how you say yeah, that. SQ12, that's our flight. And it's like, it'll be open at four o'clock. The counter. So. So yeah, there's literally no one at the counter. Like, there's no one working at the counter. So I guess it's like their only flight of the day or something. I guess so. Um, so yeah, I guess we just have to carry our bags around for the next two hours yeah. until we can actually check in. This is whack. This is so whack. I'm yeah. so annoyed. And the other two went through because they're on a different airline. We figured we'd meet on the other side. Never see them again. Even go. We didn't even get to say goodbye. <laughs> yeah. So kind not, of annoying. Not too pleased right now. No. I mean, I guess it's our fault for being here so early. But I guess I feel like normally that wouldn't be a problem. Yeah. I don't know. Like we can't even check in. I mean, I like, guess I these don't... other ones are also saying it'll open at a certain time. So they probably just don't want you checking in so early in advance, which I mean, it makes sense because they don't want the bags just sitting around if they don't have anywhere to put them. Yeah. Because you're supposed to just come three hours early for international flights, so whatever. I guess so. I guess we're gonna go find somewhere to sit or yeah, something. Eat, please. Yeah. I'm so hungry. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. Ugh. So we're still waiting. Um, it's um, 3.47. So, almost time. Yeah. Yay. Yeah, we got some food. I ate vegetables, thank <laughs> God. It was very Japan good. Japan doesn't believe in vegetables, apparently. I mean, there are vegetables sometimes. in things, but sometimes. it's not a hearty serving. It's usually just like rice and meat. Like, that's yeah, what you get. <laughs> a lot. For the most part. Yeah. So, I ordered a whole plate of vegetables. Mm -hmm. It was good. <clears throat> yeah, so in a few minutes we're gonna walk back over to the check-in area and see if we can actually get through. Wish us luck. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you just filming that? I don't know. Please, God. <laughs> this better work up exactly four. I swear. Because... Let's try this again. Didn't even select English. I'm over it. <laughs> know what it's gonna say. <laughs> Just so that you can read it. Right. Alright, let's see. Nope. Whack. Well, we made it through security. We had to go to the help counter instead of using the machine because yeah. it still wasn't working, yep. even at 4 o'clock. So, uh, but she was very nice. She helped us. But then she said that I got chosen as like a random extra screening. But I don't know when that's happening. She said at the gate. At the gate. So I don't know what that means, but sad. I don't know what that means. You're too dangerous to go into the United States. 
Oh, so how long do we have now? We board at 6.30, it's 4.30 now, so we have two hours to kill. Good lord. Ugh. That's okay. Yep. At least we're at our, at our gate now, instead of in the other area yeah. where we couldn't even check in. So, now we can get comfortable. Mm -hmm. Alright, we made it onto the plane. We made it, yay! What happened to you? So, I got randomly selected for additional screening which made me so nervous the whole time because I thought they were going to call my name. They didn't, so when we got up there in the gate, they were like, come over here to this other area. I had to take my shoes off. It was very annoying. And she had to like swab down all my stuff. So weird. It's very strange. Very Whatever. strange. Well, but here we are. You got to fill out your... Uh... Are you my family member? No. No? Zero. She's filling out her form. Customs form. Oh, yep. that'll show my information, actually. So I maybe will update sometime during this flight, but I don't know if more eating shenanigans happen. Yeah, certainly. Yeah. So we've just been given this snack. Um, I'm not sure what peas and crackers are, but I guess I'm going to open it and we'll see. Oh, it just looks like peas. I don't like peas. You don't like peas? my thirst from the peas and crackers <laughs> and now I'm a wet so you know that's fine all right here we go dinner time uh, do I have any chopsticks or do hi hi I got the Japanese because I don't want to leave uh -huh. <laughs> When we get back, when we get back to LA, yeah, when we get back to LA, when we get to LA, I want to get the most American food possible. Which would be what? McDonald's? I don't know, like burgers or something? Yeah. Not McDonald's. It doesn't have to be like trash. Wow. I just need like, you know, burgers, burgers. or something like that, you know? Okay, yeah. It's gonna be very American. Yeah. But we got the Japanese food here. So, got some noodles. Nice. I'm gonna eat these first because this seems very hot, so. Yeah. I got the pork. <laughs> what did you just do? Why, why are we like this? <laughs> why are we like this? Oh my god. Mm. So, we okay. made it through customs and security again. Mm -hmm. We're at LAX now. Um, mm. I'm real tired because I did not sleep on the plane like at all because my stomach hurt the whole time. So I'm dead inside. Our flight is until 11 p.m. and it is currently um, almost three. So we have how long? Eight hours? Seven. Seven. Three and seven is ten. Like back seven eight. and a half. I mean, it boards at like ten thirty. Yeah, we'll book it. Leaves at eleven. Yeah. So we have eight hours to spend in this airport. <laughs> what are we gonna do? Who knows? Die. We're gonna die. Yeah, we're gonna die. <laughs> Oh my god. And we have to find our gate now. It's probably going to be another million miles of walking because this airport is all hallways. So. Yeah, because right now we're going back through the hallways that we were going mm -hmm. through the other time. So, so, yeah. I feel pretty gross right now. Just... How long has it been since we've been awake? Let's say we woke up around, what, 8 o'clock? It's been Nine almost 24 hours. Yeah. Well, no. I guess, yeah. Because it's 7 a.m. in Japan right now. All right, here we go. First meal back in America. Burger and fries. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm. So we've been here in the airport for a few hours. We are editing our D&D &D video, or like going through our D&D &D video. Becky um, is in the sun. The sun is blinding me. <laughs> it just keeps moving closer well, and closer. Well, here's the, the thing: window. is that we have to sit here because this is the only functioning outlet in the entire airport. In the entire airport. <laughs> so, we yes. so we can't move. Nope. 
And it was so funny because this is the hat that I was wearing in this video. And Becky asked me, do you have that hat on you right now? I was like, in fact I do. So now she's wearing my hat. Yeah, so I can not die. It came to the rescue. I came to the rescue. <laughs> you look so funny. Oh my god. The suffering never ends. No. Today. Oh my god, I'm so Today's dead inside. Over. It's been 26 hours. I'm so dead inside. We still have like five hours mm -hmm. before. Yep. Yeah. Sure yep. Our flight has been delayed an hour and a half. So what, it's gonna leave at like 1 a.m.? Just, we're never gonna leave. Free us. We'll never free leave us. this airport. Oh my god. <laughs> I wanna die. <sighs> well, at least we found some working outlets. Yeah, we've got a nice, we've got a nice table now. Table. So we'll just sit here for the next two hours. Yep. Or whatever. Your clock is wrong. That's the East Coast. Well, <laughs> great. Yeah, so um, we suffer. Yeah. Yeah, we'll be here. Sorry, excuse me, the next four hours or three hours. Who knows? <laughs> Gave us free snacks because of this leg, which you know, I accept that. I accept free cookies. Yeah, they also gave us this some sort of meal voucher. Yeah, she said it's good. like $12 worth of like something that you can use somewhere and it expires tomorrow, so I don't really know what that means. But I don't even <laughs> have time to use it. I mean, I like free things, so well, we'll see. Go get another chai. Yeah, so uh, that's nice of them. Yeah, uh, still not leaving until 1.30. Yeah, so, we've uh, changed seats for the fourth. <laughs> fourth yeah, time we've today. changed our location yeah. once again. Now we're by the, the new gate mm -hmm. to get the free things. So, mm. still got how many hours? Uh, one and a half. Okay. We're on the dang plane. Good night. Hey, where are our bags? We just got where here. Where are they? It's gonna be free a us. Oh my god! <laughs> we're finally in DC. And we're still not free. We can we'll never, never be, be free. free. <sighs> so, <laughs> welcome back. We're uh, sort of alive. Maybe sort of. it's it's iffy. So I look real nasty right now, <laughs> but. Could not be bothered to do anything. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> so we've just been sleeping yeah. all day since we got back, finally. We finally got back. But we wanted to film this little like wrap-up section segment and just talk about our overall feelings about our trip. Okay, so Becky, favorite part or favorite thing that we did? I don't know if I could narrow it down to just one thing, <laughs> honestly, like, I'm gonna have to do, like, my top three. Okay. Um, because I really do love it in Japan, and everything we did was so much fun, and it was just such a great trip. But I'm gonna say my top three things were the Oedo Onsen in Odaiba, and kind of just that whole day, too. Like, I really, really loved, like, the whole atmosphere of the onsen, like, with being able to wear the yukatas, which is something I've never been able to do, um, and, like, you know, it, it gives you that experience of wearing a yukata in a festival setting, and the outside area was just so peaceful and lovely, and the baths were so peaceful and lovely, and I just felt so, like, at peace and, like, <laughs> like wow like I'm in an anime <laughs> like it was just so cool and oh my gosh. lovely um, so the fact that I'm listing that as first is probably means that that was my favorite day but um, I also really loved our Fuji trip 
and shopping in Ikebukuro. So Ikebukuro is my favorite part of the city, um, and I just really enjoy shopping there. Um, I guess that would probably be just our first day there when we were shopping, when we first did our anime shopping, because I love shopping for anime merch, <laughs> even though it's like hard to search everything. I don't know, I like searching, so many I like books. trying to search for things, and um, and the fact that that first day we were so successful, like I found a ton of lobby stuff, I found one single Shiryuki item, um, we found the doujins, um, so yeah, I just really enjoyed that. Well, my favorite day, surprising no one, is Disney. That was just absolute highlight for me, I was so happy. That whole day, I almost cried because I was so happy. And then my second favorite, or the runner-up, is the Mount Fuji trip also because it was really cool to be able to like get out of the city and like it was like we had to do a lot of driving because the bus was driving like two hours and then another hour and then another hour. But like there was such pretty scenery while driving that it made it like so nice. So not even just like seeing Fuji and having the nice lunch on the lake and the boat and like all of that stuff was great but even just driving like through the countryside and seeing all like the little little houses and like the farms and like scenery that you don't normally get to see when you're staying in the city that was just so cool to me and I just really enjoyed that whole day really so that was a really fun thing that we did yeah. I want to say shout out to the ninja experience because that was really really fun and shout out to the Sega Collab Cafe that we went to. I, I mean, I don't want to just call it the Yu Yu Show Cafe because there's other animes there too, but like, that made me really happy. I enjoyed that a lot just because Yu Yu Show is like my favorite show. So that was just delightful for me. And also shout out to Karaoke because that was really fun. Yeah. Like I didn't expect to enjoy it as much as I did, but yeah. that was really, really fun. Mm -hmm. That was great. What was your favorite food? That you had? Gosh, I just love all the foods. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, everything that we ate was so good. Like, there was not a bad meal. Um, I don't know, I like... I still really love tonkatsu. Um, I really liked the curry that we got, the cocoa curry, and mm -hmm. that had, the one that I got had tonkatsu in it, so like, those two things together maybe mm -hmm. would put it up higher. Um, I also, the other two that stand out to me are the hot pot that we had in Odaiba, which is part of what made that day uh, very enjoyable. Um, that was really good. And also the lunch that we had at the Fuji trip was like so good. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I mean, I love everything that we ate, but I guess I'll put those three as my top, top <laughs> You're just three. doing top three for everything. Yeah, because I can't decide on anything ever. I've got like top one and then second favorite. Okay. Yeah, so again, my favorite meal that we had was the meal on the Fuji trip, the lunch that they gave us. Because it was just like a bunch of like little things that were all like so good. Like there was like uh, sashimi that was like delicious. And there was like all these little like side things that I don't even remember what they all were. I don't even know what they were. I ate them all. <laughs> and then, um, the stew, or not stew, but it was like the soup. soup with like noodles and tofu and vegetables inside. That was so good because listen, vegetables are for some reason hard to come by in Japan. Like everything is just like rice and meat. And yeah. sometimes there's like a little bit of vegetable, but like not really. So that was like a delightful little soup. And I was like, I could eat this every day. Like this is so good. So yeah. that, that whole meal experience was my favorite. My second favorite meal was the ramen that we had at the ramen place by our apartment. I got the green ramen, which is apparently different, but it was really, really good. And then we actually went back there again on our last day. That was my request. I was like, can we go back to that ramen place? Because that was my favorite like okay. restaurant meal that I got. Because it was just really good. Um, so those are my favorite like meals. But I do want to say shout out to the fluffy pancakes that was so good and shout out to the crepe at the onsen because that was so good I don't even know if we filmed that but yeah. basically the the one that I got was what did it have it had like green tea ice cream cheesecake strawberries and red bean inside and those are like all of my favorite things <laughs> so it was just so good 
Um, and also shout out to uh, sea salt ice cream, which is amazing. <laughs> And I'm gonna be annoyed that they don't make that in America now. I'm like, why can't I just get this? Yeah. It's just vanilla and salt, that's all it is. <laughs> it's so good. So I put it as least favorite thing that we did instead of like least favorite part, because I think our least favorite parts was just like having interpersonal stress, but that's not really related to what we were doing. It's yeah. just like, you know, you're cooped up together for 14 days and people are gonna get grumpy sometimes. So there's a few low points like that, but as far as actual stuff that we did, what was your least favorite? Um, um I want to say like Shibuya, just because Shibuya was so hectic mm -hmm. and crowded. Um, and we did go on a weekend, but like I said in the other video, like I feel like it's just kind of more crazy in general too, because mm -hmm. it's more popular, I think, I feel like. I don't know. Um, Cause like we did go back to Ikebukuro and Akihabara on the weekend too, and it, it wasn't as crowded as mm, that was. Right. So um, yeah, I don't know. Shibuya just like didn't appeal to me much. Um, I don't really care about clothes shopping as much, and like I didn't want to go clothes shopping there because we were just sweaty constantly, and like I don't know, I just didn't want to deal with it. It was just kind of chaos all around. Um, um, I think for me, I really in general I enjoyed everything that we did, but if I had to pick a least, I would say Nakano Broadway. Oh, because you're right. <laughs> you're right. That was the same day. That was the same, okay. As well, Shibuya. That was, the, well, that was the day. Like, yeah, Shibuya was crowded, but like, whatever. Um, no, I don't know, Nakano Broadway is just like, it's hard to shop because the shops are so small and like, the narrow hallways compared to like some of the other stores that we've been to. I was not very impressed with what they had there compared to Ikibukuro. And even though like I think I found some doujins there, but like... Yeah, we did find... I think that was like the least exciting yeah, thing. I, I, although I did find the lobby cards too, but yeah, yeah. I, I agree. That was... It's just a weird, a weird place. It is I don't know. Weird place. I don't really like yeah. it. Do you have any regrets or anything you were disappointed with? All right, Japan. <laughs> Where is the Shiryuki merch? <laughs> like, I don't, I don't understand. Like, is it, like, just so underproduced that what they did have is so popular amongst that crowd that it's just all sold out like they just or did they just not i mean i know it's not like a, a current anime but like at any of these like secondhand stores even mm. like there was nothing and i'm just like i know it exists somewhere in the world like i've seen images of <laughs> things that have been created so i'm just like where is it? Like, why? <laughs> like, I truly am, like, disappointed that it wasn't there. Um, yeah, that is definitely the biggest disappointment for me, because, <laughs> like, I mean, I guess, like, shonen things maybe are more popular, because there was plenty of D. Grayman stuff, like, even though that's not a current thing either, like, shonen jump things, I guess, are just more popular, that they just always have those even even just like in the jump store I mean it's clearly not the most prevalent thing but like they always had like a little tiny degree section and like I did find like a lot of lobby stuff so I don't know it's just like why was there like plenty of that and just absolutely nothing of the other one like I I don't know I don't understand Japan <laughs> marketing I don't know anime marketing I just I don't know I, my biggest regret is that I did not buy the Polaroid camera film at that random store in Nakano Broadway when I <laughs> could have, because, so like, we saw them in Don Quixote, but in Don Quixote they like were behind a glass or something, and you had to tell them what number you wanted, but then at this other store they just had like a, kind of like a file card of it, so theoretically I could have just brought the cards to the register and be like, I want these. Um, and for some reason I kept like holding off on buying the film because I was like, well, I don't want to buy it right now Because I guess I was like, I didn't know how much I wanted to buy 
Um, so I don't know. That was like one of the things I wanted to buy in Japan because it's cheaper there. And then I ended up not ever getting it. So that's kind of sad, but whatever. It's my fault. Yeah. And there was like some other things that I had wanted to buy there that I was not able to. Like couldn't find a backpack, eat a bag, couldn't find like any of the things that Megan asked for. Um, there was like some other random stuff that I wanted to buy that I ended up not being able to find or just not getting, but kind of regret not buying a wig or kind of like disappointed or regret not like finding more wig selections or like more cosplay stuff that could have used I guess like I mm -hmm. did want to go buy like a short blonde wig for um, my Tamaki upcoming cosplay but I don't know I just I kept being like oh they're like $30 or something like maybe they'll be cheaper somewhere else and they just like were all the same price everywhere so I should have just bought it but mm -hmm. it didn't um, and then lastly is what would you do differently or would you do anything differently um so, I think I would like to, like, the, the place we stayed at was really nice, um, but the bed was not comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> like, I didn't sleep through the night, ever. Wow. Like, I don't know why it was so hard that it was, like, stabbing into my, like, <laughs> hip bone or something. Yeah. Like, so it was just, like, even when we put more layers of padding on it, it's like the tatami like mat structure of the bed frame was just so hard that it I don't know like the blankets didn't even help soften it that much so I think I would like to maybe just try and stay in a hotel next time we go if we go back um, just for you know a more comfortable bed I don't know um, kind of related to that I would like to stay closer to a station, I think, just because, I mean, it wasn't a bad walk. It took us about 20 minutes, I guess, to walk from the Airbnb to the station, the closest station, um, which we had to do every day going there and every day coming home. And like, in the morning it was okay because we, you know, were fresh and ready to go. Um, but every day walking back when we were just exhausted, it yeah. was like always a struggle. <laughs> like. I don't know, it would just have been a lot easier on us, I think, to yeah, have been closer to probably. a station. Um, and also, would very much like to have a non-stop flight here to there, like I had the first time I went, because, oh boy. Yeah, I don't know if I really have anything that I would do differently besides, like, whatever you said. I mean, I, I enjoyed the Airbnb, like, I thought it was nice to be staying, like, in a neighborhood. Yeah. And I enjoyed our walk even though it was tiring but I feel like this is more to the previous question and I forgot to say it but there was like some stuff that we didn't get to do on our list like it would have been nice to go to Kamakura we ended up nixing that because there was just too much <laughs> yeah, <they're so> <laughs> which I mean it's fine like I'm not upset that we didn't go because I think it was the right decision yeah but you know just some of the stuff that we didn't get to I I wish we could have done, like, more museums and stuff, instead of, like, so much shopping, but whatever. Well, I guess that's it, then. That is it. Yeah, that it was really fun. Um, if you've watched all of these videos, then I hope you've enjoyed them. Um, maybe we'll do a panel about this. Yeah. Someday. We'll see. Um, subscribe to our channel for more. Not more Japan, because it's the end of it, I guess, <laughs> yeah. but all of our other vlogs. All the other vlogs. If you like yeah. our vlogs, check out our convention vlogs. Mm -hmm. So, we'll see you at Colossal East yeah. in September. See you guys! Bye.